Woo. I'm gonna show you three things for free that you should know before you get solar panels installed on your home. I have people reach out to me on my website all the time asking if I can come do their installation. And as much as I wish I could, I'm so busy fixing things, I don't know what to do with myself. So this is the best that I can do for you. So here we go, number one, should you even get solar panels? installed on your house there's three things that you need to consider number one what's the condition of your roof um, on this roof right now i'm doing a removal because the roofing system failed so all the solar panels need to be removed off the house and then reinstalled which is extremely expensive by the way they'll let anybody tell you different you know kind of is what it is the second part of that is what does your electrical look on your house look like on your house um do you have an old meter if you do you really need to get that stuff upgraded before you install solar panels. And now your sales rep might be like, oh, we can do this, it's totally fine, we don't have to do a service upgrade. Do some research. Get opinion from an electrician to come out and look at your, you know, your home electrical first. The next part is what are the current incentives um, and like the net metering agreement um, that you have with the power company. Breaking those things down, the first aspect is um, are there tax incentives or local incentives um, for the system? And do you qualify for those? You need to find out what those are. Um, and you know, if you actually have a tax liability, talk to your tax advisor um, to see if you, you know, those, those are available to you. And then the second part is because a lot of people are buying solar panels in order to offset set their electrical usage. Um, and save, you know, offset costs or save money on their utility bills. So you can find out who your power company is and then go to their website and look up their solar program and then, you know, find out details about that to see if it's a good program or if they even let you install solar panels. Now, I know that that is a lot of information. So I have a link below in my bio and you can basically pay me um, to design a system for your home. You can fill out your information you know, uh, give me your power bill, send me some photos, and I will tell you what products I recommend, and I will tell you whether I think solar is a good, you know, investment or meets your goals. Um, because, you know, I, I don't care, I'm not biased, I'm not a sales guy making a big commission. Um, you can just pay me a fair price and I'll do a assessment for feasibility of solar on your home. Now. Continuing on with the video, um, the rest of this information, if this isn't overwhelming, I'm gonna give you this for free and you can do your own research in order to decide whether, you know, you should install solar panels on your home. All right, so now that we've talked about um, the first thing, which was, should you even get solar panels? Which is considering, does your roof even get enough sunlight? Is your roof, you know, too old? Um, is your electrical panels too old? Can you even tie solar into it? Um, does your power company have a program for solar that is good? Um, and do you have a tax liability? Can you get the rebates or incentives or anything like that? Once you've gone over those things, the number two thing I would have you consider is how much you know, do solar panel systems cost? Now, I think it's okay to pay for, um, or I think it's okay to pay a lot of money for a solar panel system. You just wanna make sure that you're paying for high quality equipment, great customer service, great warranties, um, craftsmanship, and you know, quality installation, not paying for a crappy installation done by a company who just spits out installs and then wind up with, you know, all that money going towards commissions and corporate fees and salaries and everything like that. So I'll give you my opinion on that. But I think what would be easiest is if I just grabbed a pen and some paper and showed you the breakdown on what these materials actually cost like me as a contractor so that you're aware um, of what the pricing is. So here we go. You have the solar panels, you have the inverter, slash the other electronics. You have the hardware that, you know, fastens it to your roof. Little bracket and a screw. And then you have costs for just all the wire and the other electrical, usually referred to as the BOS. 
exact balance of systems. If you have a battery install, you're gonna have your battery and your uh, maybe transfer switch. Then um, let's see here, you're gonna have labor, you're gonna have profit, um, and then maybe sales commission, then also overhead. And then on top of that, I guess lending fees. Boom, so there you go. So let's say you're getting 20 solar panels. Let's say you're getting 20 solar panels. How much does 20 solar panels installed on your roof actually cost? I'm gonna break these down. So if we have 20 solar panels, just the solar panel itself is like $250. That's it, so times by 20. So you're gonna have $5,000 for the solar panels. The inverters, let's say for micro inverters with the cabling and everything, you're probably at like 180 per panel. So we'll do 180, so about $3,600. I'm gonna say the hardware is another $2,000. Now that's really gonna depend on what it's being attached to on the roof and a lot of other things, but I'm gonna say $2,000 for the hardware. Um, wire, electrical, BOS, I'd say another $1,500 and all the different screws, wire, conduit, everything that you're using. Batteries and transfer switch, those are usually $10,000 a piece. Somewhere like five to $10,000, but we'll put $10,000 and that's a pretty good average. I'm gonna say labor generally for me is about a hundred bucks per panel and then maybe $1,500 for like the battery. So in this situation, 20 panels, the 1,500 will say 35, $3,500. Um, profit, I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Sales commission, blank. Overhead, blank. Talk a little bit about this last thing, lending fees, and let me add on here, permit. And uh, license. So permit and licensing, um, this might be several thousand dollars to pull the permit, get the net metering agreement, you know, licensing, insurance, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna just put like $2,000. So if we were to say doing a solar panel system with the battery, you know, installed, kind of the hard cost to get it and add those up, come up with $27,600. $27,600 for a basic solar panel installation with a battery and a transfer switch. Now in the industry, generally, um, people price out their systems at a price per watt or maybe a price per panel. This is a good way to understand how other bids, when you're comparing bids um, and the price, compares on them. So essentially, if we had a, say, a 400 watt panel and we had 20 of them, we could do 400 times 20 equals 8,000 watts, eight kilowatt system. And so if we did the price at $27,600, um, you know, divided by 8,000 watts, we're gonna have a price per watt at $3.45. Now, I generally see solar panel systems range from maybe 250 a watt to $5 a watt, depending on if you have storage and the equipment being used and everything like that. So you might get like a really wide range in there. Now, what we're not talking about is a lot of companies operate at like a I don't know, 20 to 40% profit margin. And so their hard costs might be times by 1.4. So to consider that, um, now if the there's a sales rep and he's making a commission, usually those commissions are somewhere around, for, I don't, I, don't, I want to say like three to $5,000 for a commission. Um, on that, we'll go $3,500 for that commission. And then any overhead, I don't know, they might charge another $1,000 for their vehicles, their gasoline, their whatever um, on there. So if we add that into the equation right there, and we take a $27,000 solar panel system, you know, maybe times that by 1.4 for overhead, add in. Uh, sales commission and maybe some additional overhead 
um, that becomes a you know probably a forty to fifty thousand dollar solar panel system. Now the last thing I want to talk about is lending. I just want to cover this like briefly. This is a whole nother video. I plan on doing a series about grid tied solar and breaking down all of this information for you in different videos but lending is something i've been like a little bit iffy about when you get a solar loan there's something called the dealer fee and the dealer fee is like an origination fee it's a fee that the solar contractor pays up front when the loan is initiated um that you probably won't know about it's i, I don't even know if it's in the truth of lending it's kind of vague it's kind of hard to understand i've read through those before but those dealer fees are anywhere from 10 to 20 plus percent. So, and you're understanding me right, like if you have a $40,000 solar panel system and the sales rep saying, here's this great 20 year loan at 2% interest, um, 1.99 or something that sounds really good. If it's solar specific financing, they're probably paying like $8,000 upfront in order to even originate that loan, which they're, they know that they're gonna have to do that. So they're just, putting another you know five to ten thousand dollars into your bid assuming that you're financing it and then telling you you're getting these great lending offers so i i don't really like this because you're paying like a ten thousand dollar fee and then you're paying interest on that fee and it's just it's just kind of a, a weird situation i don't know how common this is with other types of loans whether it's like car loans or mortgages or anything like that um but uh I would, I don't know, I would look at a bunch of different lending options. I wouldn't just go with the first solar specific finance option that's offered to you at a low interest rate. Um, look at maybe doing a home equity, maybe a personal loan, maybe, you know, paying cash for it if that's an option. I know, you know, it depends what your checking account looks like. Um, but I don't know how much I like the solar financing options out there. Now you also have power purchase agreements and you have leases, um, which those two are gonna be two totally different videos, which I'll talk more about um, on my channel, but you know, that, that gives you an idea um, of the cost. Now, if you kind of know these numbers and know what the equipment costs, and you can kind of break this down and look at it for how much the solar panels, the inverters, the permit and every, labor and everything like that, being reasonable, like it's not bad to pay $50,000 for a solar panel system. You just want to make sure that you have really good installers and you have good product and all of that. So, all right. So here's the last thing that I wanted to mention to you to wrap up this video is solar panels require maintenance. Um, I think that's something I've never heard a sales rep say. And even as a sales rep, because I sold and designed solar panel systems before I started working on the systems, um, you know, they're gonna last forever. There's these great 20 year warranties, has a 25, a 30 year warranty. Everything will be perfect forever. Um, I'm a little bit jaded because I, you know, remove solar panels off of houses and fix broken solar panels. If you follow me on any of my channels, Instagram or YouTube or even Facebook, my short form YouTube, um, you can see that I, you know, remove solar panels and fix broken systems. <coughs> um, what I generally see from my experience with systems that fail is that they have failures somewhere around the five year to the seven year um, mark and then some of them around the 10 year to 15 year mark. So when you're getting a solar panel system, I would expect to have some costs for someone to come out and service your system and to make some repairs on it. Um, and even, you know, replace some failed products. Um, don't expect to get like a, you know, 20 year loan on this system and have it last 20 years without any issues whatsoever. Um, I, f I feel like that's something that no sales rep or solar company is going to talk honestly to you about. And I bet there are a bunch of solar panel systems that I don't get service calls for that were installed really well and they don't, they're not seeing the same failures um, that I'm seeing. But you know, very common things that I'm seeing is with the different electronics um, in your system. Um, some of them just break. Some of them need to be replaced. 
And yes, a lot of these things are under warranty, but the issue I've seen in my area is that there were a ton of different installers locally here in Salt Lake City, Utah. The power company changed the net metering agreement, the solar agreement they have with customers, and it made solar less profitable. It made it kind of a bad investment, to be honest. And so under those circumstances, I think the majority of companies in the state, like I want to say 60-70% of them, moved markets or went out of business or, you know, something along those lines. And so it left, you know, thousands and thousands of systems installed in the Salt Lake Valley with no one to really service them. As far as like under warranty, when I get a call from someone and say, hey, my solar panel system's broken, I charge like a trip charge to go up there. And then I charge labor to diagnose it. And then I charge for, you know, parts and material for anything that isn't covered under the warranty. And it could be anywhere from $350 to, you know, a couple thousand dollars to get their system back up and running um, if it's, you know, not producing electricity. So... To wrap up with those three things on your mind, should you even get solar panels? Thinking about all, you know, the condition of your home and how much sunlight it gets. Um, thinking about how much do these things really cost and making sure that you get a install that's, you know, a good deal. It's, it's the contractor makes money, stays in business. You get a good product and um, it, you know, lasts a long time, has good warranty. And then, um, preparing in the future to service your solar panel system and pay some you know service fees for that um i think those three things will set you up and then like i mentioned in the beginning of the video there is a link um below uh where you can hire me to do a somewhat of a feasibility study on your home I'll take a look at it, do a site assessment, draw out the panels, estimate their production, and give you my honest opinion as far as like, ah, I don't know, this makes me hesitant, or yeah, this looks like a really good deal for you. And then I'll also recommend the products that I see that do not fail, <laughs> that are like the most reliable. Like I'd recommend installing this, this, and this. And if you, you know, choose to hire me for that service, you'd be able to go to your installers and say, hey, this is what's been recommended for me is something like this. And this is about what it should cost. This is kind of what I'm looking for in a quote and, you know, bid shop a large manufacturer, a medium sized local manufacturer, maybe a small mom and pop because like I'm a small contractor and um, I you know, like supporting small local businesses. And I think you have a lot more one-on-one -on -one conversation and flexibility and um, a lot of benefits from going from the small guy. So make sure you get a bid from those three people. Check out this series. I'm gonna be posting as many videos as I can, doing a deep dive in all these topics when it comes to grid tied solar panel installations.